so you might have caught this in my previous video, but basically I am shooting this one right after I shot the final portion of the Jameson Black Barrel. So I have this saltine cracker in my hand and I'm going to eat it um, just to have a more bland taste in my mouth and kind of get ready to taste the next one. Maybe it'll help, I don't know. some that I've had at Flavier that I think I actually would want to pick up a bottle uh, in the future and do a real video on it. So I don't think there's a really need to do a whole production for it and it helps me to produce some quicker content I feel like as well. But uh, yeah, bio B. I need to get the tasting card out. Scotch is neat 
There's a bit of an acidity to it too, like if I smell too strongly, which I assume is kind of like a, the citrusy too. So I might even argue that there's some lemon on here. I know orange is citrusy as well, but like, yeah. This is charred. This is there's some smoke to this, and it's it's pretty charred and ashy. It's actually pretty good. This is giving me campfire vibes. I don't know 
if it's because, like, I said it in the previous video, but, like, I don't particularly like the Jameson Black Barrel that much. There was some disappointment to it, but especially around the fact that it wasn't smoky to me at all. This has some smoke, and it's mixed in with some very light notes. There's a lot of different kinds of notes on here, and they're actually balancing pretty well to me. So I don't know if I'm just getting overly excited about that fact, um, making this much better in my head than maybe I might think at a different time. But you know what? Upon first tasting, this is a great palette. Following up a great, a pretty good nose as well. I really like the palette on this. I don't probably agree with all the flavors on the spiral that Flavia provides, but like the predominant ones for sure are the predominant ones, and I might be picking up some other stuff on here as well. I think there's a little bit more complexity to the palette for this one. There was definitely a lot happening. Ah. This thing kind of goes like, I'm not going to say it goes zero to 60 in a second because it, there's a lag. There's a slow start at first. Like it goes zero to 20 at like a pretty moderate pace. But then after that, it just floors it. Like things escalate quite quickly all the way through to the finish and I'm going to try this again but I'm going to say that the finish is actually kind of short um, the palette itself is actually pretty quick it's um, yeah it's a very short experience for me but a lot is happening in that time frame and it makes you want to have more as well which is kind of cool I'm actually very surprised that this is a this doesn't taste like a typical bourbon at all. I got I had to look up where this distillery is in New York. spice notes to this too maybe not black pepper maybe a little bit of black pepper it's not a jalapeno either it's something else i'm just gonna say peppery for now like there's a there's there's heat to it um i first i'm going to say that it's a slow start to the palate like kind of those notes that you get on the nose the oil and the lemon and the light vanilla notes like they're there they're lingering and you don't really know which way it's going to go from there and all of a sudden it just picks up speed and pepper comes forth and ash and char and smoke um what else yeah i guess cinnamon too the cinnamon's pretty strong on here i'm not gonna agree with the caramel i wasn't really that i wasn't getting caramel or chocolate i wasn't getting oak either i'm not getting any wood if there is wood it's charred it's heavily charred wood right so i'll say charred wood campfire smoke um, yeah flavors that i actually jive pretty well with here um, yeah unfortunately that's really it I do the splash of water. I'm going to say that the finish is pretty uh, quick. And I don't even think that the finish is, you know, kind of the star of the show. You know, it's not really where the party's at. The party is definitely in the palace. So I'm just going to say quick and um, it's a 
fine finish. I don't know. Like, it's this thing finishes very quickly, right? Like, it's over after all the the craziness that happened. Yeah, like it kind of just like overshadows the finish, basically. Let's try it with the um, splash of water. I am most likely going to be picking up a bottle of this if I can, because this is pretty good. Oh, this is pretty good too. I'd say not much has changed. I kind of want to change floral to lavender no, now after smelling it again though. I'm going to say lavender. Um, I had said floral initially, but it's pretty... Again. Yeah. It's pretty good. It, it is a very slow start. Um, but then it picks up speed yet again. Like nothing nothing different with the splash of water for me. I don't think I'm picking up any new notes. It's just as good as it was before. Spicy and 
smoke it was this is a good blend these these notes do compete with each other but like they blend together a little bit more nicely there's a bit of a transition happening they're not really fighting for their place it's pretty good so i'm going to say slow start in terms of heat and smoke orange and lemon are heavy are heavy on the beginning finish is still quick and it's still good but uh, yeah the star of the show is definitely the palette i just have one sip left so with that being said i wish you all a good night thanks so much for watching i'll see you in the next video and i'm going to take a second to discern whether or not I should just finish off with vial C or if I should take a break. I'm definitely, um, I don't know, feeling it, <laughs> I guess. So I don't want that to influence either my opinion of the next whiskey either, but I think for the most part I should be fine. Like, I, I drink whiskey fairly often, so I'm not super concerned. feeling I'm not going to be able to drink that much whiskey again for a while, so I kind of do want to. But I'll see again. Um, cheers, everyone.